Russian elites want to attack Ukraine through Belarus for second time. Sources in the Kremlin's bureaucratic and business environments anonymously shared information with anti-war journalist Mikhail Zygar about the mood of the Russian elites against the backdrop of the current state of war in Ukraine. Zygar's text was published in a major Western publication, Foreign Affairs. According to sources, many representatives of the elites who were shocked by the events at the beginning of the war and therefore criticized Putin stopped resisting and even began to support the Kremlin's policies. Their reasons are different. Some believed in Russia's victory on the battlefield, others recognized the pointlessness of the protests, and still others believed that Western countries had weakened and would fizzle out before Russia. The elite is no longer debating whether to support Putin. The main question that worries many now is how the war will end. Some of us hope that just one successful major offensive will be enough for Putin to calm down. There are also those who connect the end of the war with the mandatory capture of Kharkov or Kiev. But another part believes that Putin will go further into Europe to paralyze NATO. And this despite Trump's possible election victory, several Russian oligarchs shared on condition of anonymity. They added that supporters of further escalation are convinced of the complete weakness of the West and that NATO will not come to the aid of the Baltic countries. According to the Russian elite, the most likely target will be Estonia or Latvia. To do this, our FSB will first destabilize the situation in these countries through the Russian minority, which will ask for help from the Kremlin due to oppression. Then Russian troops will cross the border and take control of cities in the eastern part of both countries, such as the predominantly Russian-speaking Estonian city of Nava. By taking Nava, Putin will test whether NATO is really ready to risk starting World War III. And this will most likely happen before the US presidential election in order to definitely prevent Biden from being re-elected for another term, some oligarchs believe. According to their assessments and observations, Belarus will also play its role in all of this. Many in Moscow believe that a second offensive from Belarus on the Ukrainian capital will be more successful than in 2021, since the size of the Russian army has increased, it is now better trained and equipped, and the Ukrainians are too tired and will not be able to organize an effective defense in another direction, writes Mikhail Zygar, citing sources in the Russian elite. It's bad to be an outcast who wins, but it's even worse to be an outcast who loses. We must win, because then they won't give us life and Russia will collapse, said one of the oligarchs interviewed who had previously criticized the war and then resigned himself. Russia is expected to deploy two additional tank divisions and more than 70,000 soldiers to Belarus in March 2025. In response, NATO will deploy a 300,000-strong military contingent to the borders of Russia and Belarus in May, including 30,000 soldiers from Germany.